I'm Joanne Blue and at Profusion at the Cube booth. I'm here with Mark Cleghorn from Photo Training for You. I've been in his seminars for two days now, and he is the most amazing photographer and best teacher I've seen in years. So, Mark, what made you come all the way from Wales just to Profusion? Uh, we had an invitation through Lastalight. Um, uh, Viztec are one of the distributors uh, in the world, so uh, they do the most amazing products. And I've worked with Lastalight for such a long time uh, when they're looking to de develop this show as well into the photography side of things because it's predominantly been video, so they're looking to actually expand that. It was a great excuse for us to come out. Oh, yeah, Wales, it's a long trip. Um, yeah, but it's, the world's a small place nowadays, and we're all photographers and we love photography, so anywhere we can go and talk about photography is cool. And Canada's the best place to come. I've never been before. Uh, Toronto is awesome. If you haven't been, if you haven't come here before, it is worth it. I can't wait for next year. Um, I think, fingers crossed we'll be back here again. Um, we'll definitely follow on with some street workshops because this is the most amazing city. I try and uh, teach always the basics first. Before we can kind of go to the edge, we need to know where the edge is. And unless we kind of always go to that basic level and understand the principles, it's almost impossible to take it to, as I said, that next level of photography. And, uh, you know, we can do workshops in many kind of levels of photographer, but it's so important to make sure that whether you've got the, the kind of the beginner in the class or the advanced photographer in the class, that they all go away with so, something that they can apply today and tomorrow. And, and you'll notice when I'm in there, I'm talking about business as well, I shouldn't do, but I always want photographers to kind of be able to survive and earn a decent living from photography as well, and I'm here doing that kind of thing. Everything's a business and photography, that's a business too, so you need to teach that. Tell me a little bit about your seminar that we just had, and then we'll go into your wedding one. Okay, we, we're, we're basically doing two while we're here, isn't it? And the one we just finished now is um, Power of Being Portable, uh, which is kind of all about flash. Uh, we began to uh, start off with a simple studio, looking at one, two, three, four lighting, uh, where we're using a mixture of speed lights and then going into studio flash. And then we moved into the location, we went out into the, work, the workshop, we got special permission to go outside, thank you very much much because <laughs> um, obviously we had quite a big class so uh, to move outside into the arena uh, was difficult but I kind of one I wanted to show the kind of the editorial techniques how to kind of bring the backgrounds down using faster shutter speeds than everybody tells us we could do uh, and then kind of mixing color I think you like the kind of the blue tone and we're mixing with tung with tungsten and it kind of it's, it's there to stimulate it's there to make them to think outside of their own kind of techniques that they do each day that's the key point to it uh, and it's the kind of things that we try and do on photo training for you quite a lot. It's not just me, it's my other photographers as well who are kind of uh, discussing their te techniques, whether it's fashion or pet photography, from wedding photography to kind of my kind of mixture style. Um, and that's kind of how we translate it into a workshop. Um, because a workshop, you know, you always have to start off with, well, what's this guy about? I don't know who Mark Cleghorn is. You know, why should I learn from him? Uh, well, I just wouldn't learn one little thing because I'm still a guy that goes to seminars myself. I, I learn every day, whether it's your self-teach or you're, you're reading a book or whatever it will be, the whole point is to push in yourself and that's what these seminars and, and workshops are about really, is to kind of find something else that you can apply. In the wedding one, uh, the first thing we're going to do, because uh, these were really based as seminars, so we do have a three hour program in all, um, but because we got permission to do some shooting as well, um, I've kind of put it into a two hour seminar and a one hour wor workshop, so it kind of gets the photographers into a, a kind of a shooting mode as well and of course it would have been great if we'd had that chance to uh, tell the photographers in advance. A lot of them had cameras and I'm not sure what this afternoon's seminar will go like but if it's as good as yes, yesterday's they'll go away kind of buzzing as well. Can I? So now what has been your favorite part of doing the seminars here at Profusion? Um, nothing really. Uh, the, re the reason being is I'm put in a little room and the great, the great thing is, is always to meet photographers um, so I joke about that but um, it's, I like to be in the hall because we can see thousands of photographers and we can demonstrate far more than just being in a small room with a small group of photographers um, and kind of we can interact with them more they can kind of come on stage and kind of start to shoot and so on uh, the, the best part so, so far to be honest is um, just 
learning again about an, another um, location that I've never been to. I've never been to Canada. I've taught all, all over the world, including the States and Europe and so on, but I've never been to Canada. Uh, love Toronto. That's just not saying it. I cannot <laughs> wait to shoot in the streets next year. Uh, the most amazing lighting quality. Um, and I'm going to be your model for those well, shoots, of course. going to be in the group on the ground, we hope, with it. Um, but yeah, you know, any chance that we get to um, inspire a photographer from the basic to the more advanced, uh, we had a real mixture in that last class. I'm not sure if you realize. Actually, you were telling me about one photographer that hadn't even started yet. He had just come here, he's going to buy all of his gear, and he came to you for advice. Yeah, that's really a responsibility as well, and I take that very heavily. Um, and you know, whereas um, some spe uh, speakers are sponsored a lot, and I, I run a training company and we have sponsors, okay, but um, I can't be bought. And when you get a photographer, whether they're a young student or a second career, and they're coming to you and I've, look, I've got X amount of budget, what do I buy here? That is responsibility. And you cannot answer the, que the questions without putting your heart on your sleeve because this could be the make and break of a career. It could be the make and break of financial. And I always want to be real. That's very, very key to us. You know, on, on Photo Training For You, we, we're the only ones in the world that teach business. We teach business to photographers. Um, why? Because we've run, biz we've run businesses. We've run wedding and portrait businesses. We can teach those skills to make sure that they don't only survive, but they make a real decent living. That's very, very key. So when the kind of you know, the night guy came along as you were there and he kind of said, what do I buy? And uh, it's kind of, okay, so what kind of budget you got? You know, the first thing is kind of, you've got to look at what is the most recent. Is it really worth buying it? And if you're Nikon and I'm Canon or Hasselblad or Phase One, you've got to make those decisions of where that budget is best, uh, best spent. And that is a real responsibility to any speaker. And I charge them all <laughs> to make sure they're honest because that is the key, key point. It's just not about selling your product. It's been such a pleasure. It's been great meeting you and thank you so much for interviewing with me and using me as your model. My pleasure. Thank you so much. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Sorry.